the 1995 World Sidecar Championship runs to seven rounds, all of them in Europe, all running alongside Grand Prix and all under the banner of ISRA, the International Sidecar Racing Teams Association. Leading the hunt for 1995 is the reigning champion Rolf Bieland and his partner Kurt Waltisberg introducing their new BRM engine. Derek Brindley and Paul Hutchinson are probably the men leading the title chase among the Brits and following up a successful career, Paul and Charlie Goodell also run one of the BRM engines. Darren Dixon, Andy Hetherington, running number seven this year, chose to stick with a tried and trusted engine rather than take a chance. With Steve Abbott and Julian Tailford running on a small budget and Abbott one of the leading contenders all the time but has yet to win a Grand Prix. A couple of other BRM engines on the grid and as you can see it's on the front row of this grid as well. This is round one in Germany, the sky's a bit grey the weather a bit chilly, but tension high as we come to the opening round of this seven race series and Bieland fires off the start line. It was the Goodell brothers who claim pole position here, but it's Bieland who grabs the lead. No, it's not. He's pounced on straight away by Bornhorst, another of the BRM engine exponents. Bieland now stuck in second place and Rolf Bornhorst leading the field as they start their way around the Nürburgring. Bornhorst in the front, that's Darren Dixon, number seven on the right hand side, sides past, grabs second place and pushes Bieland back to third and already Dixon is closing up on Bornhorst, Goodell's a fourth. Saturday afternoon at the Nürburgring and you can see that a lot of the crowd has stayed here to watch this race take place in its new time slot designed to give it television coverage. It's worked to a certain extent, although a lot of the people who normally come on a Saturday have gone by now. And of course, a lot of the people who go Grand Prix racing tend to come on Sundays only. Bornhorst in the lead. Darren Dixon is chasing after him. And Beeland is there. Goodell is there. Abbott's the man behind that. There's Brindley, just a glimpse of the number three plate. And for that was Mark Boziger. Just a little bit of sorting out going on in the field as the leaders come towards us now with Bornhorst still the man at the front, Dixon still second and Goodells have gone past and Beeland goes back down to fourth place. And this field widely strung out as Darren Dixon bounces it across the curbs to grab the lead there. Will he hold on to that? It was a bold move, but can he stay in front? The answer's yes. Paul and Charlie Goodell have gone through as well. Bornhorst down to third. Beeland is still fourth. It's Steve Abbott behind that. And here comes Bornhorst and here comes the Goodell brothers. Dixon is second. And that was on sheer power. Well, you couldn't have had a better illustration of just how powerful this BRM engine is. This is its inaugural race. It's never raced in anger before. And you just saw the way that the Goodell brothers went tearing past Darren Dixon. And that, I think, is probably going to be a signal, if not for this season, then for future seasons.